Hello, my name is Paul, and in a previous video, I showed how to not only make a logo, but how to turn that logo into a brand. Now, here's the fun part, sort of turning that brand and applying it to uh, a bunch of different content. So social media posts, banners, all sorts of things. In fact, you can see the lovely projects I have here under brands. You can see this brand. Again, watch that previous video on how to turn this into a brand, which is what I've done here. But now we get to go ahead and hit this plus sign and sure enough, jump into Instagram post. So we're still gonna search for a bakery and uh, we can go ahead and grab any one of these just for a starting point. So here we go, Sparks Bakery Shop. Hey, we're not Sparks, but check this out. We'll go to design right over here. Since I made it the default brand, I can go ahead and click to apply that brand. It actually uses the font that I wanted and the logo. There's the logo as well, uh, which is pretty darn cool. So we want to change out this text. So uh, first off, we're going to just go ahead and change this. There we go. A bakery where everyone is royalty. Sure enough, Cupcake Queen, this is the text. So yes, I can go ahead and pick uh, those colors that are defined within my brand and remove what I don't want and add what I do. Let's say, for instance, I don't really want to use this logo. Maybe there's a different one out there that I can take a look at. Well, we'll go down here to logos. Sure enough, uh, the logos that I've actually uploaded for my brand are right in here. So yeah, I can go ahead and grab. It looks like this one is white. It's like there's nothing here, but it actually is a white logo. So come in here, there it is, Cupcake Queen. You can make that a little bit larger and you get the idea. Last thing I wanna do is take that background and just colorize it a little bit differently. Cause remember our colors are pinks and pastels. Sure enough, under filters, we can go ahead and select this colorize something like that. But keep in mind, I actually have a bunch of colors as part of my brand right in here, right? We're only seeing a couple now, but go ahead and click there. Click that little shuffle button wherever you see that shuffle button. Yeah, you can cycle through different elements of your brand to get just like different, uh, a different look, one that might pop a little bit more uh, depending on what you're looking for. So again, we could go ahead and do that, pick something we like, save that, publish it out. Hey, we want another asset. We don't have to set up that brand again at all. We want to create a flyer, sure, jump in there, pick that flyer. We're offering T for instance, right here it is. Sure enough, go ahead and apply that brand. Everything changes to those assets. We can go over here to our lovely little logo. Sure enough, there they are. So I could go ahead and click say right there and we can add or change out. That was a little white one down there uh, in the upper uh, right, but I switched it to this black one. Obviously change the other details, but it's pretty awesome how you can set up a brand. Check out my other videos on setting up that brand, how to make a logo, and then really how to use all that content uh, for social media or whatever else it may be. And uh, don't forget to hit subscribe below. Thank you so much for watching.